Let's make creamy mashed potatoes a side dish worthy of your Thanksgiving table or even your dinner table. I have some crock pot stuffed bell peppers happening right now. Perfect for a delicious side dish. We're gonna be starting with four pounds of potatoes. I am using russet potatoes for our mashed potatoes. I'm just gonna take a regular carrot peeler, potato peeler, vegetable peeler, whatever it's known as, and you wanna hold your potato in the palm of your hand and then peel away from yourself. We're gonna go all the way around the potato. Now you can use Yukon Gold Potatoes for this recipe also. And the Yukon Gold Potatoes have a really thin, kind of a waxy skin to it. And you can leave it on or you can cut it off. But we're gonna be using the russet potatoes today because they're a very starchy potato, which will really hold up to making a fluffy potato. Now I'm just gonna go around the ends of the potatoes. Take a look at your potato, go around it. If you see anything that you don't want, <laughs> We'll take this off right here. Just take the corner of your carrot peeler and then you can just pop that right out of there. Now I'm gonna place the potatoes into a large bowl that I filled about halfway up with water. And this will keep them nice and clean and keep them from getting brown while we're working on the rest of the potatoes. Now I've got about 10 potatoes and they're about palm size to hand size potatoes. So they're not the large to extra large potatoes. Now I've got my cutting board ready and a large pot. Now I did rinse out the water and add some new water to it to kind of clean that up. So I'm gonna take my potato out, take a large sharp knife, we're gonna cut it in half lengthwise, lay them flat, cut them again in half lengthwise. We're gonna turn them and then we're just gonna cut them again. These are one inch pieces. Set them off to the side. We'll finish the rest. Now the smaller you cut your potato, the faster they'll cook. Now, if you leave them whole and try to cook them that way, they'll cook longer, but plus it takes a long time for that water to get to the center of the potato to soften them up. And then you've got a watery potato and it'll be more spongy like, and you don't want that. Once we get the potatoes cut up, we're gonna add them to our large pot. All right, we're gonna fill our pot with cold water about one to two inches above the potatoes. We're gonna place it on our burner and we're gonna place it on a high heat. We're gonna add two teaspoons of salt. We wanna be able to flavor the water which will flavor the potatoes because you don't want bland potatoes. We're gonna bring the potatoes to a boil and then we're gonna lower the heat to a low and let these simmer for about eight to 10 minutes. You wanna be able to take a fork into the potato and break it apart really easily. All right, I'll be back. I'm gonna go in with a spider tool, pull the potatoes out, look for the biggest one, stick the fork in and twist and it just breaks apart. These are done. We're gonna drain these and put them back in the pot. Now I've put them back on my burner and it's still on a low and I'm just gonna move the potatoes around. We wanna dry the potatoes out and get all that excess moisture out of the potato. Should just take about one minute. Let's talk about the tool that you can use to mash up your potatoes to get them nice and creamy and fluffy. I'm using a potato masher or you can use a potato ricer you can use a strainer and put your potatoes in and mash them through. That'll get them nice and creamy, but that takes a lot of time and effort. You can use like an electric hand mixer if you wanna do that. I feel that they get kind of gummy 
and pasty, so it's not a good texture for mashed potatoes because they're overworked if you use an electric can mixer or a stand mixer. So I'm going to go in with this, and then as I'm doing that, I'm going to add in one stick of butter. Now I'm going to cut it into eight pieces and just put it all in there and mash it all in there with it. Now the heat from the potatoes and the pot will help melt the butter. There we go. Now I'm using a Dutch oven, which is really good for if you're using like metal utensils. So make sure you always have your potatoes in something that you can use that metal utensil on. Okay, we've got a good mash on the potatoes right now. We need to get them nice and creamy. So we need to add a milk product. Now you can use regular milk, you can use half and half, heavy whipping cream. People tend to use sour cream in it, but you know, it gives it a little tang that I really don't like in mashed potatoes, but it's all up to you. So I'm gonna be using some heavy whipping cream. Now I took it out of the refrigerator to take the chill off of it because we don't wanna put ice cold milk into our mashed potatoes while we're making them. So we're gonna add a little bit at a time and then blend that in. Well, it's really starting to look creamy. Look at that. All right, now at this stage, since I've got them all mashed up, I'm just gonna go in with a wooden spoon and start getting it all mixed up. You don't wanna over mix your mashed potatoes. Give it a taste. Mm. Now we need to season with some salt and pepper. Go in with half a teaspoon of salt. And then we'll go in with some black pepper, just a little bit, about a quarter of a teaspoon or less. We'll mix that in. Let me show you how we're gonna serve these up. Okay, we're gonna put some pats of butter on it. That'll look really good. Oh, can y'all see that butter just melting into the potatoes? Let's put a little bit of parsley, or you can use green onions or some chives, but make it pretty. There we go, homemade, creamy, fluffy mashed potatoes. Let's give that a try. I didn't forget that pat of butter, it's on there. Of course, you know at Thanksgiving, you're gonna have some delicious gravy to go with that. Mmm. It's nice and creamy. Oh my goodness. They're actually fluffy too. You can put those two words together, creamy and fluffy. What a classic mashed potato dish for your Thanksgiving table or for any meal that you are cooking. They're fast to put together. Don't forget, I'm serving mine up with my crock pot stuffed bell peppers. I can't wait for that. It's got ground beef and rice in it. Mmm, so delicious. All right, so are these. You better make plenty. <laughs> I got a bowl full right here, plus I have a lot more in the pot. Give me a thumbs up on this one, you guys. If you're new to the channel, Hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way you'll always know when shows are posted. I'll see y'all on the next episode. Mm. Mm.